talk review about the slick Bluetooth speaker that they had fixed it because they, it was on a different camera angle, which was terrible. But I do like this slick Bluetooth speaker. And it, it does, when it's in standby mode, it has different colors, but when it plays music and flat, it does that the strobe light effect, which in my previous uh, I wrote a warning about that people that have seizures did not watch that video and watch the one with the camera, the camera flashlight on. And this one, I think it has a 40 millimeter, 3 watt driver. Yeah, it looks like it has a 40 millimeter, 3 watt driver. I meant 45 millimeter, 3 watt driver, not 40 millimeter. No, it looks like a 45 millimeter, 3 watt driver, because this one in the soundbar is a 40 millimeter driver. The, yeah, it looks like a, yeah, definitely a 45 millimeter, 3 watt driver, either. Yeah, because it's smaller than a 52 millimeter driver so yeah looks like a 45 and it's probably three watts yeah and all of them have that same FCC rules operation it says one device may not cause harmful interference into this device must be accepted by any interference received including interference that may cause uncensored op per it says un Desire operation. All the all my Bluetooth speakers have that. Those two rules right there. This one. And I think I think my platinum has it. And my other my Muse, my Muse Bluetooth my Muse LED Bluetooth speaker has it too. The Muse one and my Kobe Bluetooth speakers have it. The green, my white one and my red one have that same two 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 steps on the thing. Just like this one has it. The only one that doesn't have is the Samba. Oh yeah, and this one is an upgraded dish remote if you were wondering. Because I was using it as a speaker stand on the background. Yeah, I was using it as a speaker stand. So give this video a like and subscribe to my channel and catch you in the next one.